Hi everyone, it's Lee with Arts Council OKC Creative Aging Program. And today we're going to do pen and ink spontaneous doodle bookmarks. So <laughs> today is really about letting go of any kind of preconceived idea of what we're doing and just kind of relaxing into making shapes and patterns and not thinking too much about it. So what you're gonna need, um, I'm using watercolor paper and I cut a nine by 12 sheet into fourths, so it's a uh, three inches by nine inches. Um, and if you don't have watercolor paper, you can use a, you know, a card stock. The reason why I like watercolor paper or anything heavy is because then you can do the design on both sides and the um, Sharpie won't bleed through. I also like using, I've got both ultra fine Sharpie and fine Sharpie. And you can use other felt tip pens too, you know, whatever you have. And I like the idea of just doing black and white, you know, but feel free if you want to use color. So, all right, let's get started. All right, I just kind of arranged stuff. Now my table has a little bit of a dip in the middle. So this is a heavy piece of cardboard that I'm gonna use to just kind of give me a stiffer underneath. Um, but first what I wanna do is talk to you a little bit about these. This is actually very simple. It may look complicated. You may think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. But if you really just think about just making marks and not thinking about how, the extent of how many marks you're making or how long this is going to take you. Just relax. This is supposed to be kind of relaxing in the zen. And the cool thing about these is you can turn them any which way. So the great thing about this, this is a good exercise and like I said, kind of letting go of any preconceived ideas because your goal in, in this is just to keep going. If you make a certain mark that you don't like, that's okay. Incorporate it into your design. This has an eye underneath. You may be able to see it. I had started a different one and the eye, I didn't really like how it was going. So I just kept going, adding things around it. But then I still kind of left it enough to where you could see it underneath. So, you know, just embrace that you're gonna keep working on it until you get it to a place that you like it. And on this, this is one that I've already started just to kind of give you an idea of, I mean, you can do anything. Now, I like the idea in this instance to just start without a pencil. I know some of you don't like that. However, this is, this is good practice. I mean, I know that we've done some things where we don't use a pencil and I think that's exciting. And you know, like on this one, you, I just started with some waves and then you can kind of follow along or, and then do circles and just little, just lines, you know? So I have some more filling in on this one to do. And like I said, you can turn them around. And the great thing about this is anything goes. I mean, we've got cross hatching, you know, hatching, just lots of mark making circles filling things in with black. And so if you're gonna use a large area of black, this is a good instance to use your heavier, you know, your fine um, Sharpie versus your ultra fine. But just really kind of play around and have fun with this. Now remember, this is about experiencing new things, experimenting, this is a class, and this is supposed to be fun. This is not supposed to be drudgery. So don't look at, all of these lines and go, oh my gosh, it's a lot of work. This is easy. You, you know, this is very simple, you know, mark making and you can do this. Anybody can do this. The main thing is just to let go of expectations and just to keep going. So, all right, I'm gonna set this one aside. And then if there is a certain kind of shape, you know, that you're going for, if you like, squares or waves or, you know, you can do diamonds and you can even do hearts. You know, hearts are not, you know, they're pretty, they're not threatening. So if that's something 
that some of you might like. Let's do, you know, and let's just kind of start. So just to show you that anything goes. So we can, let's do even a few. Cause hearts are good all year. It's good to have lots of love going around. And my hearts are a little kind of, you know, silly. So let's say we want to get all of these, some shapes on here like this. And you certainly don't have to do this because I personally, you know, like doing really kind of free form things, but you know, some of you may need to start with something a little less abstract and that's fine. Just let's work with, we want to push you, challenge you to do something a little different, but then also want, want you to enjoy the experience. And so start with something maybe that a little, you're a little more comfortable with. So let's say I'm going to start doing a line around here. And okay. So I'm just kind of filling in some space. And I'm look, I'm and see, I'm not really worrying about how I'm I'm not being precious with it, so I'm not worrying how precise or not precise. Woo, let's see. So that's just we're just kind of getting in some lines. Okay. And then if you want to, you can put another one in here. And the great thing is if you go, well, I don't really like how some of that looked. I would rather it be a circle. And just kind of do a circle and we'll do a circle in here. A few circles. And I also like to just kind of do, instead of doing a solid circle, I'm just gonna kind of come in here and do Cause see, I'm changing my mind as I'm going and that's good. So what I'm gonna do is just keep, and see, this is a really, see, I'm not, you're just relaxing your hand and kind of making some spiral circle looking things, so. And once you kind of get into this and start doing it, you'll kind of figure out what you like and what you don't like. So I like the idea of these circles in here and I'm just kind of using them to fill up the space. So I'm bumping up against the edges of these hearts and then just go right on off the edge. Okay, so. And you can make them bigger and smaller. Mm -hmm. And so see, this is really pretty simple and just relax your hand so you're not cramping your hand. And I'm just filling in the space. And see, the more lines you put in there, the more interesting it becomes because you're getting all the basics in here. And because I know I did a circle, it, I mean, a heart in here first, and then I did a circle. So just kind of come in here and go over some of that with your other circles because it's going to blend in. So you're kind of camouflaging what you had in there. So... Mm -hmm. And then just, let's see, okay. Once I get to a place where I think I've filled up the space enough, I'm just gonna. And I'm not squeezing the pin really hard because if you squeeze this really tightly, then your hand's gonna get tired a lot sooner. So remember, just relax, okay. So I'm gonna do some circles around here. And just kind of, I'm gonna to wanna, to, I wanna bring this down a little bit so it kind of connects to this one down here. But then I also, and then that way I can take a look and see what I wanna do. And the great thing too, is you can always change your mind about how these things are in here later. So you can add little things. Okay, so, all right, so now, say I wanna, now I wanna add a little line in here to kind of follow this. And I can 
kind of add another wave along here. And it's not, I don't even have to follow how this other one's going. So I can add something here. And then I can do some lines in here. And here again, this is just simple mark making. So you can totally do this. And I, like I said, look, I'm not worrying about if I accidentally get out of the lines. That's not, that's not a problem. We're just, so, and then you can decide if you want to add to this line up here. And the good, the nice thing too is also just having lights and darks and whatever you want to keep white, leave the paper showing and whatever you want to fill in, fill in. But um, this is totally up to your own discretion. So and the main thing is just to kind of don't think about it too much. This today is just an exercise is and kind of just letting go and just seeing what happens. So, and then we'll fill this in a little bit. And then we can add some more heart in here. Ooh, that's an odd shaped heart, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. We just go, we're embracing it. <laughs> And I know you all will come up with some really interesting things, but sometimes it's good to start with stuff that, you know, if, if you're less comfortable with abstract and do something recognizable, but incorporate just some abstract elements, you know, cause you can all do circles, squares, diamonds, you know, anything goes. So just kind of really challenge yourselves to do something a little different, get you out of your comfort zone. Okay, and then we can come in and, you know, and do different things to fill it in. So you can just do in some straight lines and you can do some cross hatching just cause it adds a nice, interesting texture versus if I were just to color it in flat black, but it is all up to you. So you can certainly do areas of flat black that you like. But see, it just starts getting really kind of interesting. And I love bookmarks now. Like I said, you can, and these are great to give as gifts because people will love the idea that you actually handmade these because these are great. Now you can also use them as, you know, just a little picture that you can lean about or frame because I like the, because these are thicker so then they can stand up on their own. You know, you can lean them. You don't have to have them framed, but they look nice framed too. So, see, just keep going. And you can also switch. And if you want to add, you know, a heavy black line. Now just remember the, the, you know, heavier fine Sharpie is definitely a very heavy line. So you can't take it back. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this in here. Mm -hmm. So I might kind of fill it in this way. You know, and I don't, and I don't really like the way that the big fine one looks as much. But that's all right, I'm gonna fix it. Because if I go, hmm, I don't really like that, that's all right, just figure out if, just keep going. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in in a different way. I like leaving little bits of white, but if you don't, fill it in. Mm 
Okay. See, and then and you can go in here and add a heavier line around some of your hearts. But see how different that looks, you know, and some of you may like that, some of you may not. So just experiment because what you can kind of, I'll come and kind of come in here and soften this by putting a little bit of a, a smaller edge in here just to kind of tone it down a little bit so it doesn't seem so stark. And that, see, that just kind of changes the way it looks. So really kind of have fun with this. And then I, because I know I've said this to you in some other um, things that I like, sometimes making a heavier line by using this ultra fine, but just going over it a few times because it is, is solid, but not as solid. So it actually looks a little different, which I prefer, but you do you. And maybe you want to take this thicker one and do a heavier outline around the little heart inside. Okay. And just keep bouncing around and trying different things. Mm -hmm. and just keep adding to it. And you might, since this one's a little, and you can also say, well, I really like the way these other ones look. So if you wanna pretend that this line is closer in, then just add some circles up to a different edge of your heart. So see, so you can kind of change the contour of it in that way. Change the outline, okay? See, totally super simple, easy to do. All you do is you just keep going. All right, and so, and the main thing is just take your time don't feel like you have to rush. And so, and tr just try different things. And just, you know, experiment with how you want to fill in the space. You don't necessarily have to put lines or just or you don't have to make specific shapes, just kind of make marks close together and that gives it the feeling of being solid, so. And then this one kind of disappears, so we're gonna to add to it and then it'll come out over here. And then um, I think what I want to do is kind of add some darker aspects, you know, add some more black to the circles around the heart. So I can take this heavier marker and kind of come in and just kind of randomly kind of fill in some spaces. And I maybe want to make some other smaller circles, but while the heavier black is filling up some spaces, okay? And if you decide you just wanna have smaller dots, then just keep going in around and see, it gives it a different look. Whoop. So just keep going and then, you know, I'll fill in more. And let's see, so I'll keep adding to this up here, um, but you know, and you can do mirroring things like on this one where I kind of started a similar pattern down here where it kind of looks similar, but it's different. Um, and these are just really easy, just kind of triangles, shapes that I just kind of went and then did little horizontal lines in here, vertical, like slightly curves things. So, 
anything goes. Just have fun. Like you can do little dots or just lots of circles or squares and just checkers, anything. And let's see, I'm gonna come in here and just start doing long lines here. Just kind of give a different look. And just some, the main thing is just kind of experiment and try different things. And like I said, if you don't like it, that's totally fine. Incorporate it into your piece, you know, into your bookmark, but go over it in some other way. And the main thing is just don't think about it too much because sometimes we have a tendency to get bogged down too much in the end product. And a lot of it's just about the process of making it. And it still looks really cool, even if you're just making it up as you go. Mm -hmm. So... And see here, I'm thinking about it, but I don't want to think about it too much. So just think about, okay, do I want to have hearts down here or other random shapes? You can do that, but just don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. And see, Liz, I'm just kind of going back and forth. And it's filling up the space quickly, but it's not hard. I'm just kind of doing like little connected zigzags. And like I said, remember, don't, don't have a stranglehold on your pen. Just let your hand relax. And if you need to, take a minute and let your hand relax. So it's... You know, sometimes it's helpful if you kind of get in kind of information, you know, kind of a background, and then you can come back and finish it. Or, you know, because sometimes people like to have the bigger picture, like, okay, here I have all of my major shapes in here, and then you can finish doing all the details. But the great thing is you can change your mind, too. So anything goes. And you can change your mind later and cover something up or whatever. You know, add to it. However you see fit. I'm just going to add some triangles in here. and just let go of perfection. There are no need for rulers here. <laughs> That's what part of makes fun, you know, part of what makes it fun is that it's you know, it's handmade. You don't have, you know. Okay. If it were too perfect, wouldn't be as cool, that's my feeling, but. So, just keep going. So you can totally do this. All right. So, I'm gonna keep working on this and see, I'm like, whoops. So I can add another bit around it if I want to. Or fill it in later. <laughs> so I'm going to keep adding on to this and I'll come back and talk about it in just a minute. All right, so you can see I've added more. And, you know, you just keep going. And this one I'll obviously add more to, but, and just how, <laughs> you know, you keep doing it and... I thought I'd put some, you know, hearts down here and just keep going. And, you know, and sometimes things change. You're like, well, I'm not really sure about that. And you can say, well, maybe I want heavier 
black in here to kind of balance things out. You know, if you don't necessarily like certain things, then maybe you'll go, well, I probably should have left it alone, but that's okay. So, this is all right, we're just gonna we just keep going. I wanted to have a little heavier black in here. So, but you get the idea. And um, you just, just keep going. And part of this is just, you know, experimenting with the different, the, you know, the different sizes of the pens and, whoop. And just, oops, hello. And just keep going. That's another thing I do like about the watercolor paper. It has a little bit of a tooth. So it adds kind of a nice little, it has a bit of a texture to it. But mostly I like it because you can work on both sides so your Sharpie won't bleed through. Okay, so you can kind of see, and maybe I want to come in here and add a little bit more. And, you know, I may want to change some stuff in here, but, and then what I did too, is this is something that's an option. I wanted to put another heart in here, and so I kind of added black, and it looked a little off. Now, this is a white gel pen that, if you go, oh my gosh, I added too much black, you know, then you can kind of come back in and, Add some white. This is certainly optional, but this is if I wanted to kind of balance it out with something like that. Now granted, you also have to pay attention to this too and go, well, it's kind of a little lopsided. That's all right, you can go back and when this dries, add a little more black to it. So just have fun. And then I'll just fill this one in. And then you might go, well, I just put too much white in there and that's okay, just let it dry and add more black. So the main thing is just to have fun and really embrace the spontaneity of it. And you can always go back in and fill things in just to um, make it different. And But like I said, have fun. Just, you know, and maybe you don't, you don't you can do anything. You don't have to do hearts. You can do circles. You can do anything. This is very simple and easy, and you can totally do this. So just take your time, have fun, and I can't wait to see what you do. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.